because of the love chart that is a general defenses in the love chart and today that i am going to deal the eight defenses just now i dictated you to number 1 to number 8 the defenses are concerned and the first one is going to be the voluntary not fit injury and that gives the sense that it is a free consent in the equivalent terminology it is everything will be recorded here so if you clearly also it will be recorded here so now basically what is the voluntary assumption of voluntary not fit injury means is an assumption of a risk is an assumption of a risk means a person is having the knowledge that he is going to face the risk is concern and that that's why we can say the assumption of risk when a person consent to the infliction of the harm upon himself he has no remedy for that in tort making this an excellent defense for the defendant against the tortious liability here if any person has given any consent to undergo the injury by the other person at that instance he doesn't have any remedy to go for the court of law for getting the damages agumusana sar pole pole you and and asungura go kama kobe kobe if any person has given the consent for getting the slap he has given the consent okay you can slap me is it a slap or a kiss if any person given the consent either for the slap or for the chumma can you go to the court of law say sir he has slapped me sir without my consent he has kissed me you have given the consent you came and say come come and he said okay it is a kiss when it is a kiss you cannot file a case against him because you are given the free consent is it clear is it clear please don't give the consent for the sake of chakula are you following me okay now let us come to the point consent forms an essential part under this doctrine consent uh, that to be the free consent suppose let you presume that it is a revolver in a to a revolver not to a revolver and if anybody keeps the revolver ha pa wapi ha pa say my king raise if anyone pointed out the revolver at at sir cheek is it a cheek cheek this is a cheek sir at the eyebrow no this is the eyebrow then what about this one say my king raise temple t e m p l e temple if anybody is keep the nozzle in the zero range the rifle can you give the consent or you don't give the consent anyone can you give the consent or you don't give the consent you don't give maisha ipo kila kitu ipo maisha hakuna kila kitu hakuna you give the consent but your consent is not free consent it is a consent goes with the force so if any consent is given the free then we can say is a free consent otherwise is a forced consent means consent goes with the force or the consent goes with the fraud and we have the case law also and there we cannot say it is a free consent and to my knowledge the case law name is r versus william case law if i am not being mistaken now let us go to the point consent forms an essential part under this doctrine whether it is implied or explicit either it is implied consent or expressed consent like i told you kama kama hivi means it is implied consent means give me the kiss or give me the give me the slap sir no slap sir kick is it a kick unless he is a martial art he knows the martial art he can give the kick here otherwise he will give the slap or he will give the only kiss so that is the implied consent and uh, expressed consent also be there so it must not be obtained fraudulently as held in the r versus william see i told you the case law and i, I believe that everybody is a major here am i right am i right i appreciate 
and here a smart young lady brambo is one of the student to the teacher and he is a, and he is giving the lessons to and he is the giving the lessons to angari aba hands up on the table sio chini chini is not a movable property it is a movable property chini keep the hand up when i am seriously teaching you and you are sending the sms yes a teacher a beautiful student came and want to learn the lesson from the teacher and do you know the what the teacher did fraud no no if you have the bbc your tone will be the quite good i don't know how many people knows bbc najwa chacha bbc bbc means instead of saying every time kutumba are you following me bbc means body to body contact and the teacher says to the student marambo if you have the bbc your tone will be very nice your tone will be the streamline and she has given the consent if the bbc tone clearance is there any relation apana so she has given the consent because she wants to be a good singer and that she obtained the consent by force by fraud not force by fraud so if any consent obtained by the fraud or if any consent obtained by the force it is not a free consent is it clear so consent obtained by the fraud is absurd in the r versus william case law okay next this doctrine is based on the idea no man can enforce a right that he himself has waived or voluntarily abandoned however the harm caused must not be a beyond that is a consented to is there anybody who knows mohammad ali say yes sir no don't kill the time mohammad ali is world legend boxer and he was beaten by the who another boxer mike tyson mike tyson is another boxer but still mohammad ali is a legend and mike tyson is a latest one why i am giving this example is i don't know whether mohammad ali is still alive or not because in boxing when they give the boxing here and you sometimes know you are i kama hivi seva king reza bruised b r u i s e d bruised b r u i s e d bruised when you give the boxing punch and you are it will be bruised number 1 suppose it touches to the lips the lips will be burst can your opponent will file a case against the another person answer no because in boxing yes it is allowed but nowadays they are wearing the a rubber like like helmets guards and you you, you are not supposed to punch below the waist no no punching below the waist there are rules are there so if you are in the boxing ring and if you undergone the injury you are not going to get anything because you waived it you gave the consent you gave the free consent yes i am ready to undergo it in the same way in the football if any got any got any person got uh, injured and that to be the legally you know not illegal way uh, by kicking him no at that instant in the boxing or in the games you have to undergo you are given the consent you waived the you are harm you are right you waived it hence you are not supposed to file a case against the other opponent so that is a very good example for that one the to put it simply that the act causes a damage must be in accordance with the was consented by the plaintiff in order to avoid the tortious liability again the question comes over there it should be in the rule a rule is there according to the rule if you play it well and good if any person got injury no compensation 
but you violate the rule of playing yes you will be you will be taken an action against you so that is the free consent when it can be waived and when it can be used and here one of the indian case law is there doesn't matter either indian case law is there or it is a tanzanian case law principles are the same principles are the same no no change at all so here the indian case law what say lakshmi raj versus malar hospital private limited where the plaintiff had only consented to have her appendix removed you know appendix operation can anyone tell me that appendix is the right or left anyone appendix is is it right or left sir i don't know okay forget about appendix moyo moyo hapa sir mimi moyo hapa hapa moyo your heart is here very rare cases the people heart is at the right hand side people heart is always the left hand side so if a person has given the for appendix operation let you presume appendix is to the right let you presume it i don't know exactly is the right or if anybody is undergone the appendix operation sir me mr jui <laughs> what is jui i ask the question if anyone has undergone the appendix operation why you are looking at me say yes sir no i appreciate i appreciate i did not ask if anyone has undergone the gravitas test i repeat if anyone has undergone the gravindex test sir what is that sir anyone anyone moisha you bo i you bo mungu na juwa body the present mentally absent <laughs> I, i will write here at least look at it so that you could know that what is what i said is here is you don't know what is mm. i want to ask the go for the yes here i am asking it i would like to see whether how many people know this test gravindex gravin gravindex gravindex test yes i think this is the right word gravindex let me check it whether it is right or wrong gravin dex gravin dex test do you know this test to know whether you are a pregnant or not gravin dex is an agglutination inhibitation test performed in a urine sample to detect the pregnancy that is a, to determine the pregnancy gravin dex test is there i will give one example why the people all do never write ditto 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 you know ditto same as abo so one day the receptionist came late and she wrote the reason why she is late ju the another man came and without reading what she wrote again they put do 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 another man also they said ditto 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 by evening 7 o'clock the bus called everyone why you are late sir same ju do you know what is ju written the receptionist sir i was late because i went to for the gravin test test one woman and the gravin test test ditto ditto everybody write ditto ditto without reading amna kili you read at least what is there on the ju only women can go for the gravin test test not man is it clear is it clear say yes i appreciate abrees sasa kunwa maaji ha ha
maji sio baridi ugu ugu au kiasi sarwe najua mengi maneno najua mengi matusi maneno tu so now let us go to our studies concern yes in this hospital gravin appendix stress removed it the surgeon also removed the uterus from her body and therefore went beyond the extent to what was consented for and thus were held liable for the damages the lady madandiwa look at into my eyes like a boondi why are you looking into there sir i want to know whether is a, there is a nini nani ipo ipo <laughs> she has given the consent for appendix operation but while the surgeon is doing removed the appendix operation i mean he successfully removed the part which is damaged in addition to that the doctor removed the uterus also you know what is uterus najwa sir we are not pregnant no sir that's why we don't know what is uterus where the baby will be grown in the womb is called uterus and he removed the uterus but she has not given the consent for the removal of the uterus she has given the consent for the removal of the appendix and hence a doctor surgeon will be held liable to pay the compensation is it clear see a person has gone for the operation of the eye is it kulia kushoto kulia eye and the doctor operated kushoto a doctor is held liable to pay the compensation a doctor is held liable to pay the compensation because he has given the consent only to that eye which has needed surgery so that is the if any person go beyond to that one that means he is violated the right so for the principle apply to the basic condition should be met number 1 the plaintiff knew that the risk is mere that is the plaintiff knew that the risk is mere number 1 and he knowing the same agreed to suffer the harm these are the two conditions are there plaintiff know that there is a harm and it causes the injury also but how much harm it depends upon the circumstances i don't know how many people know here you know mine 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 m i n e mine geta gold mine najwa sir i did not go malimbe i know only malimbe even i don't know mujini there is a geta mine is there is it a open cast is it a incline is it a shaft there are three types of the mines are there three types of the mines one type is go directly chini shaft with the help of a elevator lift go straight chini kamahivi down at is 1 km 2 km then you can go inside of course aeration is there they will arrange the aeration that is a shaft incline means you go 45 degree angle like this that is incline to some extent they can you can go for the mine in the other areas and open cast means you can see the bingu you can see the sky it is open cast to my knowledge gate of mine is open cast so if a person go underground he knows that he knows that a risk would be there at the top at any time the rock may fall and he will become a papad you know papad 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 a thin layer a thin layer chapati will become after knowing that also the people will go for the underground it doesn't mean that they have given the consent they know the risk is there that is the reason those who are working under mine they will give the high allowances amna kilele amne muzungumzo sikiliza can't you see it when i'm taking that much pain to explain you and you are speaking sir it is our habit sir we cannot keep quiet more than 5 minutes 
at least two minutes we have to speak. Please don't do such a thing. If you really want to speak, you speak with me. You speak with me. Sir, for you, you have to speak in King Reza. Yes, you have to speak in King Reza only. Because tomorrow you are going to write in your examination in King Reza. Avana Kiswaili. Look into my eyes like a boondi. So, here the point is, there is a risk. It doesn't mean that he has given the consent. So, let me see the one of the case law, Hall versus uh, Brooklyn case law. Hall versus Brooklyn Racing Club case law. The plaintiff was, as, was at a race where the race cars are collided, causing one of them to filing into the seating area and injuring the plaintiff. It was held that the plaintiff could not recover the damages as he had impliedly consented to such a risk when he came to attend the race. So here actually, you know horse race, where the horses are running for the race and uh, even the person, those who are taking the photographs, taking the photographs of the uh, horse racing and they should have given the consent to themselves going to the near area. Sometimes if the horse has collided and they may fall on them also. Or in the, in, if it is not like that, even car race, horses race or car race, there is a collusion out there. When the collusion was there, the cars may fall on you also. Very far distance even though you are far distance. So if any person has injured, when he is watching the car race, by the collision, a car hit him and he is not going to get any compensation because he has given the free consent to undergo such a risk. And hence, the race company will not be held liable to pay any compensation. That is the same thing that he say. It was held that the plaintiff could not recover damages as he had impliedly consented to such a risk when he came to attend the race. See, when he came to attend the race and generally he has given the consent to undergo the risk and that is why that he is not going to get any compensation that is observed in the Hall versus Brooklyn Racing Club case law. Is it clear? Is it clear? Sir, we don't know. Sir, somehow. What somehow? Any difficult word? You could see on the screen and I'm explaining also. Chacha, there is a possibility that even my battery may be Emisha, so you can go to my office or if anybody is having charger here, no basaidia. Mimi mumu nifu, mimi siyo chukwa, mimi siyo vibaka. No basaidia mimi, no ba. Nini charger, nini charger, Dell charger. Matanashati, nanda Dell charger, nanda kuchumadawa. We are a Dell charger of Kuchubadawa. Muindi Matadi is a Muindi Magumusana. Yes, the next point is scientific not fit in India. Mere knowledge does not imply consent. If mere knowledge, it doesn't mean that a consent is given. No. So, in the Smith versus Baker case law, you know quarry where the rocks were made into small stones and which can be used for the RCC. Concrete, concrete. Even for laying down the road, concrete is needed. From where it comes concrete? Through the quarry, a stone, a big bulldog. Bounds are there and they will carry from the crane from one area to another area and in the machine they will cut into the different sizes and the sizes can be used for the either for the RCC roof or road laying or any construction work is there. It will be added with the sand, cement, concrete and then they will put it over there. 
after some times it became a strong so here what is there cranes moving the cut rocks to the other side was hovering over the plaintive head that when one of the rock fell and injured the plaintive so a crane is carrying the a boulder boulder means makubwa okay boulder means makubwa so it is carrying from the one crane from here to there but one of the boulder slipped from the crane and fell down on the workers those who are working there chini but whenever the crane comes naturally they will visit it and the people will go aside after the crane went over there then they will start working the chini so now one time when it is hovering from one side to another side the big boulder fell down and the people those were working down they got injured but they know that a crane when passes definitely definitely there is a possibility that a boulder may fall but merely having the knowledge it doesn't mean that they have given the consent so that is the same thing we said the cranes moving the cut rocks to the other side was hovering or the plaintive head that's when one of the rock fell and injured the plaintive and merely having the knowledge it doesn't mean that they have given the consent so that is the actually the case law so in other the consent to the risk on the part of the plaintive when he took the job he did not mean consent to get hit and injured by the rocks suffer the harm but he know that a person who is working under the quarry there may be possibility that there would be some injury it doesn't mean that he has given the consent because he has given the consent for the survival for the chakula so that is the meaning of it therefore the defendant were held liable so the defendant the employer is held liable to pay the compensation because it is the employer who have to take the lot of care when the people are working under him or her exception to the warranty not fit in area what are the exception to be there but there are many other case laws are there i don't know in this one. there is a case law pits versus hunt case law is there there is one of the very good case law yeah i, I will i will show you the case law pits versus hunt broom versus butcher case law is there let me check pits versus hunt case law i know the many case laws here under the law of tort huh? yeah this case law i don't know whether it is visible to you or not is it visible is it visible can anyone read karibu sana hapa imbele and read karibu hapa read karibu why you are uh, getting fear your voice also recorded here at least you feel happy <gasps> my voice is there in the youtube <laughs> yes yes pits versus hand is a case law it is a square bracket 1991 1 qb 24 of course those are citations and here the negligence road traffic accident contributed negligence extra be causa non arita ratio joint legal inter- enterprise defense of illegality so these are all the things would be there but at least you can see what is there in the given the facts do you know what is a pillion passenger a pillion rider or pillion passenger means if a boda boda man is a rider and abiria those who sat at the back is pillion passenger or pillion rider so this is the case law the plaintiff was the pillion passenger on a motorbike and motorcycle involved in a collision with a vehicle driven by the second defendant and which resulted in the death of the motorcycle rider and serious injury to the plaintiff the plaintiff and the rider has been drinking both the thing and 20 minutes are there chagal uh, chaga sasan me fundi shahaba m13 and bada i pigasi no so here is said yes motorcycle rider and serious injury for the plaintiff 
and the plaintiff and the rider had been drinking before the accident and the plaintiff knew that the rider did not have the motorbike license and insurance the plaintiff was also the encouraging the rider to drive recklessly that means rider and pillion rider both are all fully drunken state how much drunken state najwa sir i don't drink mouth is not a pen stand nari a pen holder so now question is rider and pillion rider or pillion passenger both are fully drunken what drunken ulenzi a drink either pombe or whiskey or rum sir valur okay vodka they drank when you drank you are not supposed to drive number 1 number 2 when you want to drive the motor bike you should have the license chacha ugwaabi battery imisha you go to my office and get my charger it is in my office ayi po chacha are if anybody is having dell charger you can give me can you go you know you don't know my office ugwaabi bag me me gorafaya tatu chumba number g to an mlango mimi jina ipo where the molly mu sit administrative block ar nandunje what is what is there academic block not administration ume pata wapi naenda chacha ha pilipili mrefu kufuli mrefu sawa tumia bongo okay coming back to our point so the pillion rider and rider both are drunken and they are driving and the rider doesn't have the license to and moreover the pillion rider has encouraged the rider to drive very fast and the fast when you are driving of course they got the collision and they got injured and at the tense tense who will get the more injuries rider will get the more injuries or a pillion rider will get the more injuries sema why you are keeping and looking at me as if that i am asking Rider get the more more injuries. He is saying, "Papa, na." When a rider is riding, the sixth sense work is he is going to fall, and there is a skid, and he knows the conscious immediately. The reflexive system works, and he will get the less injuries. And the pillion rider, he is calmly sitting, and he is uh, dreaming. the machumba nini nani to whom i should call for my convocation are you calling are you hearing me are to whom i should have to call my wife my children my father my mother my jirani nini nani he in the dreams pillion rider dreams so he doesn't know the consequences and his reflexive system will not work and he will get the more injuries a pillion rider gets the more injuries than the rider a rider died and a pillion rider filed a case against the rider for the compensation can they do so answer is hapa na number 1 both are drunken state 
Number two, you have given the consent to him to ride very fast. That means you are undergoing the consequences of high, heavy, rash driving. When you are given the consent for the rash driving, you are not supposed to get any compensation because defense of validity not fitting is really applicable. Number one. Number two, drunken driving is an offense. Number three, and he is riding the motorbike without the license. So all are there. And hence, the injured will not going to get any compensation. Because defense of the validity not fit in the is applicable over there. Is it clear? Still five minutes are there, then it will be stopped. Again, I will restart it so that it could be recorded. Okay, no matter, up to that extent, I will continue it. So all the things which I know, Nini Kilele, even ladies here are keeping quiet, but gents are speaking over there. Generally, it is the ladies who speaks more. Am I right? <laughs> so the rider, motorbike, owe a duty of care to the passenger where they are equally drunk and reckless. So answer is, Quality not fitting here, I would be applicable over here. That is the case. La. So now, this much is enough for the time being. Then we'll go to our original case where we are. Yeah. So exceptions to the quality not fitting area is rescue cases. In rescue cases, voluntary not fit in Nigeria, doctrine is not applicable. Means, person who suffered the injury, he is going to get the compensation. So that is the idea behind it. And rescue cases, these cases from an exception to the doctrine of voluntary not fit in Nigeria, when the plaintiff voluntarily agrees to the risk of the damage while saving Vargul rescuing somebody from an imminent danger created by the wrongful act of the defendant, he cannot claim the defense of the warranty not fit in Nigeria. So, the landmark case law is Haynes versus Harwood case law. It is a landmark case law where a police officer took the risk to rescue the children from the oncoming horses as a result suffered some serious damage. I don't know, I would like to explain the scenario. Unattended horse-drawn cart on the road. Means driver is not there. Or cart. What do you call that person? Who drives the cart, horse-drawn cart? What do you call the person who drives... The horse drawn cart or bullock cart. Sir, driver. Sir, pilot. Sir, commander. Sir, operator. Hapana. What is the word? Anyone? Just now I told you. Carter. C A R. T E R. A person who drives the cart is called carter. A person who drives the motorbike is called rider. A person who drives the car is called driver. A person who employed to drive the car is called
lot of time working on social media for my clients. I create a lot of video content. 